Hi, we are the editors of the book Relational Peace Practices, uh, published in 2023 with Manchester University Press. I'm Malin Åkebo. And I'm Joanna Söderström. And I'm Anna Jarstad. The main motivation behind the book Relational Peace Practices is to identify tools which we can use to empirically study peace beyond the absence of war. While many peace scholars agree that peace is more than the absence of war, our work was motivated by the lack of clear definitions of peace and guidance on how to study it. And our approach is to study peace as relational. Relational peace practices develops a novel framework for studying relational peace and applies it to several empirical cases in different case study chapters that all use the same framework, the relational peace framework, in different empirical contexts. The book contributes to a nuanced understanding of peace beyond the absence of war by recognizing peace as a web of multiple interactions across time, space and levels of analysis. Relational peace entails behavioral interactions that can be characterized as deliberation, non-domination and cooperation between actors in a diet. The actors involved recognize and trust each other and believe that the relationship is either one between legitimate fellows or between friends. Each case study chapter contributes with new and in-depth empirical knowledge and understanding of peace in various geographical contexts and using different material. The case study chapters also contributes with clear methodological guidelines for others who will use similar data elsewhere. The authors of the empirical chapters have chosen to analyze different type of actors, political elites, political parties, communal groups, civil society, local residents and citizens, covering a wide range of contexts. In addition, the chapter demonstrates original contributions to their respective fields with the use of the framework. In this way, each chapter demonstrates how the relational frame framework can be useful for dealing with various different type of research questions and make contributions to previous literature in a number of diverse fields. Taken together, relational peace practices provides a framework and methodological tools for studying peace as relational. It allows students, scholars and practitioners to make peace more researchable in a way that uh, we hope advances the field of studying peace beyond the absence of war in new and exciting directions. The book shows how the relational peace framework is applicable at macro and micro levels, as well as hyperlocal levels. As the framework applies to all dyadic scales, one can move from the minimal relationship uh, of simply two individuals to a group, a village, a region, organizations, subnational units, states, unions, and even empires, and indeed multiples of those. This allows us to see peace as a web of multiple interactions, and we hope that uh, the book has paved the way for more empirical studies within the field. The book is available open access at the website manchesterhive.com. Free to read as an ebook, but you can also order it as a hard copy. We hope you enjoy the book.